and I wanted to share some tips for my awesome holiday planning. Every year I host Thanksgiving and I have a small family. It's going to be me, my family, husband, couple kids, my sister, her daughter, husband, and my dad. Um, and of course my dog. <laughs> First of all, start early. If you know what you want to make, look up the recipes, make your food list, figure out what you need. Every year I'm late brining my turkey. Brines, like start defrosting days and days in advance and start brining it so soon it doesn't happen. This year my turkey's not frozen because I actually put it in the fridge about a week ahead of time. But there's still ice chunks in it. I can't tell you how many years I've been Googling you know, how to defrost a bird very quickly. So start early. Have your list, um, have everything ready, have your plan, write it out. It helps to know food allergies ahead of time when you're planning. We have nut allergies, soy intolerance, uh, gluten intolerance in our family. So I just tend to go gluten free, lactose free, know who's coming, know what they need, be able to label stuff. It's much better if you don't poison anybody accidentally with your holiday meal. Another thing is invite from your heart. I can't tell you how much. These holidays sometimes are stressed out because there's so much obligation. If you can, invite the people that you love, that you care about, and sometimes invite the people just because it's the right thing to do. You know somebody's gonna be alone. Maybe they're alone because they're an asshole and nobody likes them. But you know what? If they're gonna be alone, you can invite them. It's not so much about them and whether or not they deserve to be invited, it's about you and the kind of person you are, and you'll feel good for inviting them. When we talk about starting early, if you drink, I recommend starting early with that as well. Look, I know my family doesn't usually run on time. Uh, early on in my holiday uh, hosting, I would get very stressed out when they weren't here on time. Now not so much stress. So if you don't drink, whatever. Do your yoga, do your meditation, do your deep breathing, do whatever brings you some, some peace and able to deal with, you know, those, those things like waiting. Obviously I was cleaning earlier today. All must work, nothing is free. That I'm kind of stealing from our dojo credo, karate. Um, but really, that's the case. Look, I'm not running a restaurant. I'm not a chef. There's not a sign outside the door that says open. You're not going to pay me for this meal. I expect you to work. Now, what does that mean? For my family, it might mean setting the table, vacuuming, helping me cook, helping me prep, going to the food store for last minute supplies. For my guests, maybe it's having them bring something, um, having them assign a little task when they get here. I like to involve people in the holiday. I think you get more out of it. I think the memories are made. A couple years back, I had my dad and my son work on the green beans for me, like tearing off the, the ends. It was awesome. Now, from year to year, my schedule varies. My energy level varies. The time that people get to my house varies. So I'm flexible. I adapt. Some years maybe I do more. Some years maybe I do less but I do look for those opportunities to involve my guests in the meal because again, or, or clean up, let's not forget clean up, uh, because again, it's not a restaurant. I mean, because it's about bringing people together and working on something together really brings you closer at heart. Finally, expect the unexpected. My high school quote, I still remember, it's been 30 plus years, was if they expect us to expect the unexpected, doesn't the unexpected become the expected? I think I got that off Cheers. I think it was something Woody the bartender said. Um, anybody remember that? Any noodle. Um, yeah, so when something goes wrong, I would have a tendency, I tend to be a little type A neurotic, shocking, right? Um, but I would have a tendency to think it was like the end of the world, the holidays ruined. But really, in retrospect, those are some of the best memories. The year that my turkey was done early and everybody arrived late, I learned how you can insulate a turkey in like foil and newspaper and stuff and stick it in the cooler and it actually, the turkey wound up great, we served it, it was still warm. Uh, my mom, no holiday could go by that she would not burn the almonds for the green bean almondine. To this day, I don't think it's a holiday if I don't burn the almonds. 
seriously, it's a fact. So embrace the things that go wrong because at the very least, they make for great stories and great fodder. I forgot, bonus tip. Don't even bother cleaning the floor because the day of, it's probably gonna get super messy either from your guests or from you dripping your turkey juice all over the floor between the oven and the counter. From my house to yours, happy holidays.